You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. Tis I, the world's only professional asshole. What is it? The Dark Knight of Advice Columns, the IKEA of Consultants. Okay. Uh, we have a request. If you have a request, go to assholeconsulting.com. Uh, hey, I was thinking, I was watching some of your YouTube videos and enjoying them. I need your help on what career I should get into. I was thinking of doing something in the skill trade, specifically welding, but I'm willing to try other work that doesn't involve heights because I'm afraid of heights. Uh, let me tell you a bit of my background. I'm in my early 30s, and I was raised in Canada and began my career doing PC technical support for a little over three years, and then got tired of it, then did warehouse work for almost a year, then shifted over to production manufacturing for almost six months. So that's no time. The problem is that I landed in a car accident, and my injury case has not been settled, and it's been almost four years now. Uh, I had to go in and out of doing labor warehouse work in my upper back, it is now healing well, but I'm still doing warehouse, and I need, I need, what is it, zoom in, and I need, and I need, I'm healing well now, and I'm still doing warehouse, and I need, what does it make, I don't have enough money saved up yet, but I'm doing the best I can. I have my own car, and live with my dad, and uh, Two bedroom basement for cheap rent through a family friend. Okay, uh, and then I says, yes, I have a desire to learn a skill trade, and that doesn't involve too much heavy lifting. I've done enough uh, at the office, but I'm not interested in seeing a chair for more than eight hours a week. I don't have any money, anyone either, no debt, but what has gone down due to the accident. Dude, your, your accident is four years ago. Don't give me that fucking bullshit. It's four years ago. I understand if you were actually physically impaired, you could not work. All right, but don't tell me you were that impaired, especially with today's service economy, and you're doing PC technical support, that this is like still affecting you. I can see if your medical bills are racked. Boy, you're in Canada, you have free medical coverage. All right, no, 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 that's you giving excuses. Enough with the, I, you never mention the car to anyone again. The car accident is over. Your life begins anew now. Interested in installing and repairing things, producing machinery that can help out people. Any advice would be great. Uh, pay three five. Blah, 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 think in advance. All right. Well, here's the deal, dude. I don't know why you let. Oh, look, to say it again, people. I did a video on it. No one's watched it apparently, or not enough people watch it. All jobs suck. They all suck. Every job you will get the even the best job. You you think porn stars like sex? You think beer meisters like beer? They're probably fucking sick and tired of it by now. It's all about novelty. And the sooner you realize that all jobs sucks, and the only reason you're going there is to exchange your time for money so you can actually go and live your life, then you know the true purpose of a job. And therefore, it really just becomes about money. All right? If, if you can realize that's what a job is, and it, is, it does not define you, it is not meant to be happy or fun. I mean, you can't, I mean, they can really suck too, but hopefully you get paid a lot of money. Uh, but it's there, you're there to make money, then you'll be able to move on in life. But this this myth of a rewarding job, there's no such thing. There, every every great once in a while is very rare, but there's no such thing. Okay, for for ninety nine point nine percent of it, and even this job, you guys, oh well, you gotta. I have a great job. I appreciate it very much. You know, some I don't want to do asshole consulting every day, because it, it, even though it's cool to yell, after a while you just want to sit on that fucking couch over there and get drunk and play video games. You can't. Yeah. Anyway. I would go back to TC technical support. Uh, you could do welding, you could do electricians, you could do a trade, but that's going to require physical labor. And a, a, a common complaint, especially as these tradesmen get older, is like, my body can't take this anymore. PCs is a trade, but it's not as physically demanding as evidenced by all the fat, ugly guys in the aisle. Oh, shame. shame. It's true. You know, uh, 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 Anorexia isn't exactly a problem of computer programmers across the world, all right? So if you are physically uh, uh, limited, but you can go in and out of warehouse work, all right, maybe physical labor isn't your, your best thing. You say you're healing well. I'd go back to TC technical support. Become a programmer, go to the computer networking. Heck, just fix computers. Another thing I'd look into is if you're good enough at PC uh, repair and, and support, why are you go into your own business? I've never understood that about accountants, dentists, PC guru. Why? Why don't you just go open up on the side? I know you maybe you're not you don't have a ton of people banging down your door, but start now. Open up some kind of thing on the side and start your business on the side, and just sooner or later you'll have enough clients. Um, I got a buddy. He 
you know, he, he runs it on the side, but then he keeps getting promoted on the business end. And so now, you know, and he's, he's tortured between his, his self-employment that is truly his own thing and he answers to no one versus making buku coin over in the, in the business world. But that's what I would do. I'd give up. Give up. The first and key thing is to give up the idea that there's a great rewarding job out there for you. And then I would either go into the trades if you want, certainly the trades. I would go uh, shadow some electricians. I would go shadow some welders, boilermakers, all the different trades. You know, find out something that's interesting to you and see what it's like. Uh, but then I'd maybe really seriously consider getting your ass back into the IT world and PC world. And, um, yeah, and you know, what route do you want to go? Programming, networking, security, um, developing apps. I, it's really up to you. But, man, it really... It's really hard to beat just working on a little laptop as long as you understand it's only for the money and then like, oh, you get to go outside and play. Uh, about the only thing, jobs that kind of where you get outdoors and kind of have a little bit of fun is like a park ranger and when you're working road construction. Or cops, cops, military. You're outside a lot in the military. You, you'll be outside a lot. Do you like the outdoors? Do you like camping? So. All right, that's all we got. I think you had the right thing down the road to begin with in the first shot. Um... You know, a couple other options, but, man, I, I would really reconsider that PC world. Best of luck to you. Toodles.